Whew. It's warm in this thing already. This is as far as I got last night. While I'm milling up a few more 2x4s for this knee wall, cue the video of the installation for these three walls. First thing I gotta do, square up all these butts. Crooked butts drive me nuts. Sucked ass. That's the one thing about rough sawn lumber is some of the tools that I have are specifically designed to work with nominal lumber. So this is two inches, or it's supposed to be, and it's about two and an eighth off the sawmill, uh, as opposed to an inch and a half, which is your typical two by four. Neither one of them are two. Why do they call it two by four? I don't know. So <clears throat> what I gotta do is just sort of trim off any little excess burrs, just so that uh, everything will fit nice. Just give her a quick shave. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yep, 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 nice, 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 yep. Yep, there it is. Look, fantastic. Thank you. 
Well, that's it for the basic framing. What comes next will be basically components. I'll put the board and batten siding on it. Well, first I'll do some strapping. I'll use one by six for strapping, and then I'll use the same one by six for board and batten siding all the way around. Up here at the top, that's where I'm gonna have some venting, and then it's gonna come into a bulkhead with a fan, two fans to push the air down and around the lumber that's in here and then the, the solar collector, solar heat collector, I guess you call it, is going to be a poly something. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with the corrugated stuff or just the, uh, the flat sort of insulated sheets, and then I'll install that. So the siding component, rear vents, bulkhead and fan component, and then the solar collector component. And then inside will be just probably some more pine all around the inside to seal her up, insulate it. All that good stuff. That's it for the framing. See you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.